In this module, we are going to learn about the concepts of mapper in Oracle Integration 3. I have created a sample integration over here which is exposed over REST protocol. It is not important over here how we expose our integration and over which protocol and the main thing is how we make use of this map or the mapper in order to transform the data or enrich the data. I will get into this mapper over here. To give you an overview, I have created an integration which will accept the request in this manner. Like it will have the records of students, like it will have a name and the result. We have to transform this input request which is in JSON to this format. That is in the input we will have a name and the result. But in the output we will have the student name and the final result. We are going to learn more about the mapper in our subsequent classes in which we will use multiple functions within the mapper and make you comfortable in using the functions available in the mapper. Now as I told we are having this input request which integration will receive and we have to transform this request into this format where the name and the result will have different naming convention over here and also we will put few conditions in which we will filter only past students over here in the response and also we will filter only failed student names over here. Without wasting much time let's begin with our hands on. So once you are in the mapper just enable the developer and the XSLT mode, expand the response wrapper, expand this array, expand this request wrapper, expand the array in the source. As you can see this symbol signifies it's an array. So record element is a array in our case as you can see over here in the request it's of array that is square brackets open and the add. in JSON it signifies it's an array. In the response also we are having records as an array over here with the multiple student records. Now in order to map student records from input to output we what we have to do is we have to just drag array to array like this. So it will automatically add the for loop for you. So if you don't want to do like this other method is manually you can add so you can search over here for the for loop. So we are having a for loop over here under the XSL constructs. So we can drag and drop it something like this which will create the for loop manually. Then we can map records to the for loop. If we drag records to record it will automatically create the for each loop for us. So we don't have to manually do. So once we have mapped the records to record then you have to map the child elements like this. So once you have done the mapping you can check the code view as well over here. So we have created a for loop which will map records and it will create the records array. This is this record signifies it is an input array record. This record is the output array record and in that we will have a student name which is mapped to name in the source and final result is an output element as you can see over here final result is an output element which is mapped to results in the source. Now let's test this mapper over here. Click on this play button over here. We need to generate the sample request. Now this is the sample and the generic request what it has generated. Let me just copy from here the record what I have created for testing purpose and I will place it over here. Now we need to execute this and see whether it's transforming properly. Now if you see it has transformed the data from this format into this format where the name and the result element has been changed. Like this we can map the source array to the target array with the help of for loop. So this is an example for the transformation of data where the input request is in one format and output should be in other format. So in our next class we will learn how to selectively or conditionally map the records from the source array to the target array like if we want to see only the students record who have passed the examination and we don't want any students who have failed the exam in the response or in the output.